three-armed robot has successfully conducted a concert orchestra in Germany. Whatever next, uh, the <laughs> robot, which was holding three glowing batons, guided the musicians of the Dresden Sinfonica through a specially composed piece of music. Look at that. Apparently, it took two years to develop and to train the machine to successfully conduct the orchestra. The artistic director, Marcus Rint, said, it's not intended to replace human conductors, but to perform complex music that might otherwise be impossible. But if it's complex music that's impossible to conduct, what about the poor musicians who have to play it? Yeah, well, their faces were a picture, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. The violinist looking at a, a, a computerised robot arm. They look a bit confused. But it's all over go. for us, John. Yeah. <laughs> it is. But we'll always need Carol. Always. And her computers. Good <laughs> morning, morning, Carol. When they work. Thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> And finally tonight, the machine maestro proving that three is hard to beat. A new kind of robot conductor made its debut in Germany over the weekend called Mera. It uses three batons to help perform complex music that human conductors simply would find impossible. Here's Olivia Guthrie on what could be the sound of the future. It looks and sounds like an orchestra conducted by lightsaber. This three-armed robot, Mera Pro-S, has made its debut in Germany, guiding three sections of the Dresden Symphony Orchestra simultaneously. The result, perhaps unsurprisingly, is a tad discordant. behind Mayra insist it isn't a replacement for human musicians but can help them do more complex musical maneuvers. A conductor who conducts um, an unisono cannot, cannot uh, um, speed up with one arm and, and slow down with the other arm and we had three arms and it, it, opens, it opens up completely new possibilities for composers. Robot conductors aren't a new thing. This spaceman conducted the Detroit Symphony Orchestra in 2008. This headless torso contraption was unveiled in Pisa seven years ago. And this humanoid kept beat in South Korea last year. But not everyone's convinced musical genius can be automated. It's preposterous, really. I Anything can, anything can make music, but nothing can make music like a human, like a human with a heart and with a soul and with life experience. Unbowed by its critics, Mayra could be pointing the way towards more tech-savvy musical performances in the future. Olivia Guthrie, ITV News. And that's all for now.